All right, are you frustrated by how much space your Logic Pro 10 files are taking up on your hard drive? Well, today we're gonna to be fixing that in two easy steps. Hi, my name is Tyson. I'm a mastering engineer here at Dinosaur Dog Mastering. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to reduce the file size of your Logic Pro 10 files in order to be able to make more music and not have to buy more hard drives. <laughs> um, before I dive into that though, I'd wanna let you know I have the free ultimate mixing checklist available for download. You can get that in the first link in the description of this video. This is the exact same checklist that I use in my mixes to get better, faster, and more professional mixes. Okay, with that said, let's dive straight straight into the tutorial, how to reduce the file size of your session files in Logic Pro. It's a very easy process. You should always do this after you're already done with the project. So while you're still working on it, don't do this process because you're gonna delete all your old files. And so for any reason, if something gets corrupted or anything along those lines, you wanna have all of these other files backed up, all of your old audio files backed up if you wanna re-undo something. So anything you bounce in place, et cetera, all of those old files are gonna be stored inside of the project. And that's what we're gonna be deleting in this. In my process, I go through probably about once every two months and just clean up all of my old projects that I worked on over the last two months. And that will just keep my hard drive nice and clean and I can store way more projects on there and I don't really lose any data. After the project is done, I open up the session and the first thing you want to do is hit the F key and this will bring up the project files that are in the session. The next step is to go to edit and you want to select unused or you could hit shift U will also give you the same thing. And then it selects all the files that are not actually in the session. So if I can, if it can visually see it like this file, it does not select that one. So go to edit, select unused, and hit command backspace. And this will delete all these files from your hard disk. In this case, this was a new brand new mix session, so I didn't have very many files that I bounced in place, and so I didn't have any very many old files. But for a production project, for example, I will have three times the amount of files that I actually have in the mix session. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete. At this point in time, you haven't actually cleaned up the project yet. The project file is gonna be the same exact size. The next step is critical. So what we wanna do now is we wanna to go to file, file, project management, and then clean up. So now this is going to delete all those unused files that we just deleted, so actually delete them. And then it's gonna delete all the backups and anything else that we have that we're not actively using inside of this project. Again, so this is gonna delete all of our backups. So if there's anything that you wanted to go back to at any point in time, you would be unable to do that. It's a risk if you're still in the middle of a project, but very little risk after you're done with the project. So hit okay. And now this file size will have shrunk by 50 to 75%. All right, so I hope this tip really saves you a ton of storage on your computer and it really helps you be able to create more music and not have to spend as much money on hard drives. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I release videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to help you get more professional mixes. Thanks for watching again and I will see you in the next one.